Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of MSATP TV. Joining us again this morning is Rob Smith. Rob's going to be talking to us a little bit this morning about how to track your returns in your office and uh, using a different program called Microsoft List. Um, it goes along with the OneNote note program that he's already using, and he's going to be explaining a little bit about it to us. So, Rob, why don't you tell us a little bit about Microsoft List? Okay, I'll be I'll, I'll be happy to. First of all, Microsoft Lists. Um, let me just show it to you. This right here is Microsoft Lists. Microsoft Lists is actually part of Microsoft 365. So if you have a work Microsoft 365 account, you're going to get a bunch of apps. And probably most of you are like, I have no clue what most of these apps are, and that's okay because most people don't. But um, but Microsoft Lists right here. Um, is actually one of the apps. Really what List is, it's actually SharePoint List that they've kind of made, um, they've dumbified and made it very simple. Um, Microsoft List is essentially Excel on steroids. So think about um, something that you would track in Excel. We're gonna be able to, instead of tracking in Excel because that's very clunky um, and not really user-friendly, um, and it's really easy to kind of mess up. Um, that's something we're gonna move into Microsoft Lists, but essentially it's a flat database. And that's really what Microsoft List is. Now, knowing what a program is and being able to apply it in the real world, that's where the gap comes. That's the tough part. That's, that's the area that says, well, how, okay, it's great that you can do this, but show me how I can specifically use it. Well, in this class right here, the, uh, the return tracker class that we're going to be teaching, we're going to go in and we're going to teach you how to set up a business return tracker to track both your business tax returns and your 1040 tax returns. Okay, so I don't know how you're doing it right now, whether you're, you've got a sheet of paper, a, a manual log, whether your tax software does it, um, but you have to kind of deal with what the tax um, may not be very customizable, um, or you're doing it in Excel. But if you switch over to the lists, you're gonna find it to be a lot more um, beneficial. And then the cool part, off lists is one, it's a lot easier, but two, once you learn how to use lists, you're, you're going to probably be able to start using it a lot of different, in a lot of different areas. I've got clients using it for vehicle tracking, asset tracking, um, visitor logs. You're going to find other uses for this, whether it's inside your firm or um, whether you could possibly go and teach your client and, set, and solve a problem for one of your clients. But let's take a look at the business return tracker. So- okay. In this column right, in this right here, this pretty much looks like Excel, doesn't it? I mean, yes. it, it, it kind of looks like Excel. In this column right here, I've got a, a list of all my clients. I could easily come in here and just sort my clients, you know, um, right here. This right here is my fiscal year 2021. Um, this right here is the column to keep track of all of my returns. And with this, I've got not started, rolled over, prep extended, reviewed, final, but I'm going to be able to go in and for this column right here, create custom exactly what I want for my dropdowns. So my entire workflow, I normally, I'm going to set up my, my dropdowns whenever I hand it to somebody else. So at each okay. major milestone, whenever it moves to somebody else's desk, they're going to come in here and change the status. That way I'm going to be able to go into any return and find out exactly where it's at. And then once this year is over, I'll just create a new column for next year and then track next year. But meanwhile, all this other information stays year over year. Here, I've got some quick notes. I've got a place for quick notes. I can put the preparer in here. I can put the partner or manager, the person who's going to review it. I've got a place for extension, tax type, the year end, the normal due date based off that year end. So I just assume everything's going to be due on its due date. So if I want to go in and say, okay, what's due, you know, um, you know, this month, I could come in here and say, okay, what's due in that month right there? Well, there's the only return that's due this month. Okay. Um, okay. But not only that, I could come in and add custom columns. One of the other things that I have that I've always struggled with is what business clients do I need to worry about 1099s for? Which ones are doing annual reports? Which, one, which clients have shareholder health insurance issues that I got to make sure get on the W-2s? 
Okay. Every year I'm constantly struggling with, God, who's the list of the people I need to, you know, send an email out to that's dealing with the shareholder health. So in this case right here, I can come in and say yes and say, okay, well, there's all my S-Corps right there that I got to make sure that I contact to verify that they've got the shareholder health insurance right on the tax return. Right here, year in planning. Who am I doing year in planning on it and what's the status of that? Or if there's something that you want to track, you can easily come in and just add a column. From here, you can add a single line of text, full line of text, locations. You can add pictures. There's so much information that you can add, so much more than just what Excel can do. And once you come in and basically put all the information, I'm going to give you a template. We're going to actually give you a template in class, not only for business return trackers, but for 1040 return trackers. We're going to start off by giving you an Excel, teaching you about a little bit of data, uh, data validation in Excel um, to make sure that the information is consistent. We're going to teach you how to import it into lists, customize the columns, and then change the format so you can come in and do some really cool things like this. So for example, you come in, filter, and let's say I want to look at all of the returns that I've not started that I'm working on. Two little clicks. And I'm now looking at every return that I'm personally going to prepare that I haven't started. But I also re but I also do reviews. So instead of that, I want to come in and find out who I'm actually not started and manager. So there's all the returns I'm responsible for that aren't started. Now I want to sort it by prepared. So now I can come in here, see that these two are unassigned. Andy has this, so he better get going. And then there's two of mine. But I'm going to be able to come in, sort, filter, group, any which way that I want. And meanwhile, anybody else can be accessing the same list at the same time. And once we've created custom views, you can go in and create your own custom views. So you don't even have to change this every time. You can just come in straight to your own view. And then mm -hmm. not only that, but one of the other things too is like comments. Let's say, where do you even have a place to keep track about comments about a return? Hopefully in our um, last class that when you taught us about setting up the tracking information in OneNote and yes. it's hyperlinked to here. Yes, you, you can basically link right to there. And, and not only that, you can basically have stuff in OneNote or you can come in and if you just want to add a quick comment right here, you can come in, click right here. I can at mention somebody, which means they'll get an email saying, hey, there's something going on with this return. But I can come down here and say, um, you know, waiting on e-file or whatever whatever um, uh, client has issue or don't, or, you know, I want to come and say, don't forget, don't forget this. Because let's say I want to come in and I just want to put a quick don't forget something, you know, just some little comment. I can come in and put that right there. It adds a comment. So we can actually have a firm-wide converse, conversation about this return right here. And then if you notice right there, you see that little purple box right there? And you see yeah, right there, right? Can you see that? purple instead of grayed out. Yeah, it's right there, that little purple box right there. That means there's actually a conversation going on that. That's gonna let somebody know, oh wait, there's, they're having a conversation about this, what's going on? Oh, boom, right there. So with going in here and being able to track every return that you do, whether it's a business return, and we're also gonna do one for 1040s, and you're going to be able to add any custom column that you want. And you're going to be able to finally, possibly for the first time ever, feel very comfortable of knowing what's out there, what still needs to be done, and exactly where you're at with every return for this upcoming tax season. And not now, will only this that, link, will this pardon? link to our dashboards? We we could, yeah, we could we could come in here. Um, you we can come in, copy the link right there. I can come in, okay. copy the link there, and then put the link on that and come right into here too. Okay. So basically, yeah, if everything's linked, we can kind of link everything together and put everything into one spot. Well, that's very cool. Yeah, but this is Microsoft Lists. And here's the cool part. If you have 365, you're already paying for this. There's this tool that you're going to be able to utilize that's not going to cost you a penny. All you've got to do is add the information into it and start using it. Uh -huh. And that's Very what we're going to do in, in, in the class is we're going to go in, we're going to teach you how to, um, you know, go through this. And we've got a lot of this already recorded on videos. So we're going to talk about it live. 
but we've also got a very step-by-step -step video series that you're going to be able to go in on your own and watch step-by-step. -step. So sometimes, you know, if I'm going through it kind of quick online, you'll be able to watch a pre-recorded video for this class that will walk you through step-by-step -step to the point where you basically get it. Okay. And once you learn lists, I'll bet you lunch that you'll probably find other uses that you can use this for. And then pretty soon you're going to be creating lists for so many other things. Basically anything that you're creating a list in Excel, you can do it in Microsoft lists because then once you put it in Microsoft lists, there's an app for that and you can actually access that list from your phone. Okay. Try doing that in Excel. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, very good. Thanks for joining us today, Rob. And I'm looking forward to the classes on December the 6th and the 16th. And uh, Rob will be teaching us about dashboards on one of the classes and list on another class. So please make sure you tune in on December the 6th and the 16th. Thank you very much, Rob. It was a pleasure talking with you today. Um, have, a, have, a good, uh, have a good month and I'll see you in about a month. All right, sounds good, bye.